labor force is the total number of people in a national or regional population who are willing and able to work. This important variable is used to calculate other variables, such as the labor force participation rate, the unemployment rate, and the total labor productivity in an economy for purposes of economic policy formulation. Labor productivity is the measure of the amount of real gross domestic product produced by a unit of labor. It's useful for estimating the standard of living or the availability of resources for individuals in an economy. The labor force is often called the civilian labor force so that it recognizes the contribution of the military despite excluding them from the calculation. When focusing on who is counted in the labor force, it's important to remember that the focus is on the people who could easily start working if needed. People who are under the age of 16 are not included in the labor force calculation and neither are people who have retired from the labor force. Our military members are not included because they are not part of the civilian population, but we also don't include people who are incarcerated, attending school full-time, people taking care of family members or children full-time, or individuals who are disabled to the extent that they are unable to work. Labor force statistics are usually compiled from government surveys of the various sectors of the economy, including manufacturing, agriculture, and forestry. They include all categories of workers, including full-time workers who work 40 or more hours a week at one job, part-time workers who take care of their family with the rest of their time, casual workers who work irregularly and are in and out of the labor force, and multiple job holders who contribute labor to more than one place of employment. A labor force is characterized by the variety and levels of skills of its members, as well as by their age, their sex, and in countries where appropriate to track this, its ethnic composition. The labor force can increase or decrease with the size of the total population and with changes in its age distribution. Many advanced economies like Japan and some European countries are now experiencing severe population aging that is reducing the proportion of the population that is available for work. These countries are also experiencing an increasing age dependency ratio, which the United Nations defines as the sum of the number of people under the age of 15 and over 64 divided by the number of working age people, which are those ages 15 to 64. This is important to predict the economic futures of countries that may not be able to fill the jobs needed by the economy. In Japan, the age dependency ratio is 64%, which means for every three workers, there are two dependents. In China, because of the former one-child policy, this problem will become particularly acute in the decades to come. China today has a larger population, but its population did not continue to grow, so there may be future difficulty in finding people to fill jobs. The labor force also grows or shrinks as the number of working age people who make themselves available for work increases or decreases. During World War II and the long economic boom that followed it, many women who had not previously been in paid employment joined the labor force. If women were not actively seeking jobs, they would not have been counted in the labor force measurements. Once people start the job hunting process, they enter the labor force as unemployed until they are hired, in which case they shift to being employed. A recent trend has been the retirement of baby boomers who have left the labor force and driven down labor force participation rates. The labor force participation rate is calculated as the proportion of people who are willing and able to work expressed as a percentage of the total population, which includes those who are unwilling or unable to work. This includes only the non-institutionalized population, that is, those who are not in an institution, such as an inpatient care facility. Working age is defined as 16 or older by the Bureau of Labor Statistics in the United States, but some countries set the age limit at 15 and have an upper age limit. The labor force participation rate indicates the size of the supply of labor, the total hours that workers want to work at a specific amount of pay available to produce goods and services in an economy. The labor force does not include people who are capable of work but are not employed or looking for work. For example, the labor force does not include discouraged workers who have been unemployed for a long time and have decided to discontinue their search for work. Policymakers use labor force participation rates to estimate the potential output of an economy or the total quantity of goods created, as well as to formulate employment policies, determine training needs, and calculate the potential cost of Social Security and retirement pensions. The labor force participation rates of specific categories of workers can help identify problems that such groups face. 
In many countries, the labor force participation of women is extremely low and may vary with age and social status, as well as fertility rates and educational levels. In Indonesia, the labor force participation rate of educated women in the year 2000 was 94.4%. In Canada, for the same category, the rate was 58.9%. Thus, more educated women in Canada do not join the labor force, perhaps because higher education for women is more compulsory in Canada than in Indonesia. Labor force participation rates for people ages 15 to 24 tend to be affected by the availability of educational opportunities.